hey what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel so today we're going to get back to where we left off in the previous episode and now we're going to actually create a new user session all right so let's get straight into the code so this is the code that we created in episode 15 and now we're going to start off in our cargo.toml file so open that up and we want to add a couple of new dependencies so first of all, I'm going to add diesel and that should be version. Uh, version is going to be equal to 1.1.0. And then we also want to add features and we are going to use my SQL only or MySQL. So save that. And then we want to add the .env and that's going to be 0 0.9.0 like so all right so let's get back to our main.rust file and first we're going to add the create for diesel so extern create diesel like so and then you want to move down into your login function and in our login function first of all we're going to add a if so if user dot get dot user name is equal to axel to string and the user dot get the password is equal to password then we want to do something in here and otherwise we want to do something else here all right so you can start by removing this format and we're not going to return a string anymore and we're going to return a result and either uh, we are going to return a redirect redirect or we're going to return a string like so all right so what are we going to do in this if right here well we are going to match the generate session token and the length is going to be 64 like so and if the that works fine then we are going to use the session token like so and otherwise we are going to we no, don't really care about the error but we're going to return a new error and that's going to be string from login failed all right and we want to do the same thing here if their username and password is incorrect we want to return an error and that error is going to be username or password incorrect like so and otherwise if we get our session token here and then we want to uh, let we want to create a new connection to our database so establish connection and then we are just going to for now hard code our user id to be one and then we want to create new user session and we are going to use connection user id and here it's going to be session underscore token like so and then we are going to use our cookies so cookie new and that is going to be equal to session token and we want to use the session token and we actually need to clone this right here and let's see all right so now we want to set the h for this cookie right here so c dot set max age and that's going to be duration hours and we're just going to set it to 24 hours or one day and then we want to do cookies dot add private cookie and just the c and then we want to say okay and now we want to redirect to just the root like so all right so that is quite a bit of code but we're going to start off with this generate session token function because this doesn't exist anywhere we need to create it now so what i'm going to do is function generate session token like so and i want to take in the length and the length is just going to be a u8 for now 
and we want to return a result and either it's going to be a string or it's going to be a standard IO error like so. And then in this function right here, we're going to declare a new variable called bytes. And bytes is going to be a vector of u8 like so. And this is going to be from zero up until the length. And we want to map and we don't care about the variable, but we want to use rand random. And then we want to create a random u8 like so. And then we want to, sorry, that should be like so. And then we want to collect all of these. So collect, all right. So hopefully that makes sense. We want to create a new variable, a vector of u8. And it's going to be up until the length that we pass in right here. And then we don't care about the variable, but instead we're going to use a random u8 and then we just want to collect all of that. All right, and now we want to convert it to a string. And first we are going to let a new variable called let strings. This is going to be a vector of string. And we're going to iterate over our bytes. And we want to map each byte. So pipe and then byte. And we want to format that like so. And we want to say curly braces and then colon zero to X like so. And that's going to be the byte. And then we want to collect these once again. And what is, what is this zero to X? Well, essentially that means that we want to print at least two digits. And if there aren't two digits, we want to prepend it with two, with zeros. Um, all right. And then the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to return and that's going to be okay. And the strings, we want to join them. So essentially put them all together and by no character and just join them by an empty like so. All right. So now hopefully you guys can see that we haven't imported, for example, this established connection function, the create new user session, and also uh, this cookie right here. Uh, sorry, this right here, this cookies, this, uh, this doesn't exist anywhere. So let's start off with this one. So up here, we want to say mutable because we want to change the cookies. Mutable cookies is going to be of the cookies type like so. And well, what is this cookies type? Well, let's import it now. So you want to import. So let's say, let's see here. Use rocket HTTP. And then we want to use both the cookie and the cookies like so. And then we also want to import use. So this application is called episode 16 and we want to import the create new user session and the establish, sorry, the established connection like so. And then we also need to import this crate. So extern create episode 16. And then we want to import the rand. So extern create rand like so. And we are using the rand right here. So that's why we need to import that one. And let's see what's next. So this duration right here. Well, where is that coming from? That is coming from the time create. So let's say extern create time and then you want to go back to your cargo dot toml file and you want to import both the rand that's going to be 0 0.4.2 and the time and that is going to be 0 0.1 all right so that should be it for the cargo dot toml file and then we want to import Let's see what's left. We want to use, so we want to use the rocket 
response and then redirect and we're using that down here and then we want to use the time duration so we use time duration like so and I think that's it actually but we have probably made a mistake somewhere so let's try running our code and see what that will tell us so I'm going to cut until this has compiled all right so this has finally compiled and there are some errors in here so let's start with the first one expected reference found struct all right so that's pretty easy to fix all we have to add is the ampersand like so and then the second one here is associated item not found in standard string and that's due to the fact that the from let's change this up the from should be lowercase and that's in both of those so let's try compiling a again all right so now uh, this has compiled so there's a very good chance that this is going to work so bring up your browser and then you want to reload the page so I've done that now, so I'm going to start with something that I know is not going to work and then press login. And as you can see, this said username or password incorrect. All right, so go back to the page and then enter what should work like so. And so far it looks like everything has worked. So I'm going to just go into my SQL right here and then I'm going to say select everything from users session and as you guys can see there has been a new entry right here and we can try it again let's say Axel and then pass word like so and let's try that again and as you can see now there are two tokens so this was a pretty big episode but hopefully you guys understood everything and if there's something that isn't really clear just make sure to comment below and i'll try to answer it so good luck and happy coding